Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll, I will explain to you some of the problems that some students face when they are doing crack miss, trying to solve crack miss using XDBG. For example, in this crack me here, which I downloaded from this website, crack me one. If you were to use your XDBG to try to solve it, and then if you put if you come to this location where you will find strings being pushed to the stack and if you were to step over this now I put a breakpoint here okay so now if you were to run this this uh, program it will open up your crack me and if I put any number click on check it will hit my breakpoint which I set if I don't want it to jump then I will reverse the zero flag by clicking on this. Then I will step through this. Now when I step through this, it is actually pushing the parameters to the stack in preparation for the message box function call. So all these are actually parameters for message box function. As you can see from the MSDN references here, the message box API receives all these parameters, the handle to the parent window, then the text that's, that is to be shown in the message box, and the caption for the message box. So all these are parameters for calling the message box API. So if you were to step through this now, let's suppose I step through it now, it is supposed to push this string to the stack over here, but you don't see the string here. This is because of the updates in the XDBG. The latest version of XDBG sometimes doesn't show the string here. It only shows the address of the string. The address of the string in memory where you will see the string. So how do we see the string here if we wanted to see it? Just right click on this and then select follow D word in current dump. And then it will show the string here. Congrats. See that? Congrats. And then if you were to continue to step over this line, it will also push the second string to the stack. And then if you right click on this, follow in current in current dump, follow D word in current dump, you will see that well done. So all the strings are in memory and these are the address in memory where you will see the strings. So this is the this is how you can see the strings on the stack. So hope this helps you guys out there who are looking for a solution to why you don't see the strings on the stack. Thank you for watching.